This world always makes me have to pee. Anyways, guys, welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. Oh, actually, before I do anything else, we need to change our stuff. Actually, no. Equipment. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm just being dumb. Okay, what is it? Yeah, items. Okay. <laughs> we need to change around some stuff. Uh, stock. Yeah. For this next boss fight, I highly, highly, highly recommend you bring some aethers and elixirs. Basically, just uh, stuff that will recover your magic for you. Because, unfortunately, this is the one boss fight where magic's actually mandatory to use. Enough of that, though. Let's get out of here and go fight Ursula. Hi ho. Hi ho. Hi ho. Hi ho. Alright. Oh, crap. Awesome looking enemy. Heck yeah. I'm ready to fight this guy. Uh, I don't even know what this guy's called. I think it's called Aqua Tank or something. I mean, just look at him. He looks really cool. And he carries one of the cooler looking enemies in this game. I swear. The screw divers and the aqua tanks, or whatever they're called, make this level bearable. Let's just say that. And that's truly a testament to the art design of this game. Speaking of art design, look at Ariel's little, like, portrait thing up there, you know? Where she's looking off into what appears to be her mana bar. I don't know, I, I like that picture a lot. I can't really explain why. It just, it just looks really good. Huh. Oh well, whatever. Ah, uh, another aqua tank I don't want to bother with you, sir. If you do not mind. Alright, let's just try and hurry up. I'm gonna actually cram two boss fights into this episode, if we can possibly do so. And yeah, air gold. You just do whatever, okay? I don't care. Man, there's aqua tanks up like crazy. I guess Earth Hilda is unleashing her whole battalion. <laughs> and yeah, I mean. To me, it doesn't even feel like the Disney villains actually are summoning the Heartless. I always felt like it's a natural thing, you know? It's kinda hard to explain, but whatever. But hey, what's this little thing? Let's examine it. Isn't there something else we should be doing? No! We definitely need to examine this thing. What are you talking about, game? This isn't the... T Ugh. What they're referring to is, you got to kill the shark here before our buddy Sebastian will help out blowing stuff up. <laughs> Actually, he's not going to blow stuff up. He is not that cool. Funny thing is, I had this, like... When I was really young, like I think like six, I had this plushie of Sebastian the Crab, and I swear, I played that thing all the time. It wasn't like, yay, the best, you know, right. I had these, like, giant apes that would beat the living crap out of it. And it was so cool. And I, I just eventually realized Sebastian sucked so bad, I had to pretend he had giant... Uh, could shoot fireballs out of his pinchers, which doesn't make any sense. But yeah, that's just random information about that crab and me as a six-year-old. Anyways, let's examine this thing now. That, that shark is gone. And yeah, he apparently pushes something that seems to be the Statue of Liberty. Could be King Triton, though, but I guess it never really tells. But yeah, hey, we can now go into the Den of Tides. Hmm. That sounds awfully evil, I guess. And hey, let's go over here, just because I know there's crap over here that I want to get. Including save point and something else. I don't actually know what that something else is, but I'm going to find out really quick. I hate the underwater controls when fighting with stuff. Admittedly, there's way worse games with water controls, but the whole game up to this time has been so good. It's so weird to have not good controls. Actually, I'm gonna use a cottage, I think. Let's see, I wanna test something out. Or a cottage, yeah. Use, alright. And, oh, okay, cool. So, I wanted to keep my yellow bars there, because if you go on the save point, you lose your yellow bars. See, the yellow bars will make me shoot more attacks, so yeah. That's, that's cool and stuff. Now I just need to exit here, and hey, there's a thing. So let's go this way, because that makes sense. And all right, uh, uh, I just really want to hurry up and get done with this level, because this is the worst level. This is the this is the last not fun level of the game. So just to let you guys know. And hey, it's a thing from that movie, and I don't remember who they are or what they're even called. So who cares? Let's go into their souls layer. Yeah. And oh great, it's Ursula! And remember what King Triton said, we have to shoot fire, actually, just spells, into her cauldron to defeat her. There's no other way to do it. If you're trying to attack her physical attacks, right now, she's pretty much invincible. And don't do that. So yeah, just spam magic, basically. 
It's one of the one battles where it's useful. But, after you've done so many magic attacks, you can just use your Keyblade. Like the game was meant to be played. By beating the crap out of a fat woman. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright. Yeah, it sucks you can't use Blitz, though. Man. That's how you'll be doing, like, a majority of your damage now with, uh, against bosses with your finishing moves. Oh, wow, holy crap! Or, no, no, Ariel's not actually doing very good damage at all. It's just an illusion, alright. So let's go back to attacking the cauldron. You'll probably notice if she attacks the cauldron, it might actually launch a attack that will harm you, so make sure you're spamming it. I don't think it matters what spell you use with it, as long as you use a spell. And I crap her ass stuff, let's use an illusion. Just because if you like it, alright. Let's keep deep freezing. Um, I don't think it matters what spell you use. Could be wrong. I mean, it does turn. Okay, it does. I mean, it does turn different colors and stuff. But I didn't really think it did. Yeah, let's just come on. Oh gosh, I just want to get to all this. Oh my gosh. But then after this, we got actually a. Never mind. <laughs> we have a pretty boss. <laughs> we definitely don't have a pretty boss. That's couldn't be farther from the truth if I tried. We have a pretty tough boss fight, and I always remember. Hey, can you stop doing that? Can you stop moving her? I'm trying to hit her, stupid. Me and her, me and Ariel do not get along, dude. I swear. Oh yeah, yeah. If you do uh, run out of stuff, if you run out of magic, you can start hitting Floatsome and Jetsome to build up your yellow bar. I mean, what do you call that? And, uh, I don't know. Do you need to shoot the cauldron with specific types of magic? I don't really think so. The only reason I brought Goofy here is because I thought he'd be using MP Gift more often. He hasn't done it one time this whole this whole fight. I can't really tell. And okay, all right. Actually, there's Ursula. She's dead. And yay! Woo. And alright, we beat Ursula, yay! Let's try getting the Triton back. And now Ariel decides to give us something that from the start of this level would be much funner to have. And that is the shared ability. Mermaid Kick, yay. I think you can do this. No, you can do this outside of Antar <laughs> Antarctica. Um, it basically lets us swim faster underwater. And it's mandatory for the next boss fight we're about to do. As I imagine it would be literally impossible without this. But that's a story for another day, I suppose. Alright, uh, let's change our party out real quick, because I honestly don't want Ariel, despite her cool-looking profile picture right there. <laughs> it's not Facebook. Her little picture right there. We need to get Donald back, because we want the three amigos, literally. No. Oh, see, this is what I've thought about for, like, ever since... Okay, I was on Disney Channel one time, and there's, like, they're re-showing, like, the old, uh... I don't board the gummy ship. They're re-showing, like, the old, um... Donald... Donald, uh... Mickey and goofy cartoons yeah and just think about it what if they had something like that but with Sora oh. and then I realized I was eight and all my ideas are dumb ones Herp. All right. no. I just went a complete circle what the crap I'm not gonna finish this gosh this is gonna be the longest episode of the LP and there's always LP episodes like that you know I thought monster was but I doubt that will be I was only like 60 minutes or something. Am I seriously, seriously that bored in my commentary? I have to talk about the video length of my commentary? That's really stupid. Alright. No, you stupid shark. I'm not going to fight you again. No, actually, it wasn't the shark that wanted to fight this time. It was a bunch of other people. Whatever. Yeah, now we need to go back to the calm depths. And you remember there's that jet stream that only the dolphin could take care of. Well, now I'm practically a dolphin. So, whatever. You, dolphins are obsolete instantly. All right. Let's just get the crap out of here. I don't want to stay in this stinking world, and I really gotta pee. This world always makes me pee. That's probably why I don't like it that much. I have to pee all the dang time. Man, chill out, dude. I don't want to fight you, you ugly poo. Gosh, I need to stop saying poo. Seriously, dude, I don't want to fight you. Let's go to the calm depths, finally. And actually, yeah, with our new mermaid kick, we can go to new areas like uh where is it where is it where is it where is, it? is this it is this it is this no uh all right let's aim ourselves and come on keep paddling sora i believe in you slightly so let's keep paddling keep flippering i guess is the correct term all right and where we need to go so i'm gonna go into my stuck and use cottage 
I don't know, I rarely use these, so might as well use them right here. And let's go into the unknown. Is it the windmill? No. It's the unknown area. You pathetic fools! I rule the seas now. Toughest boss fights from my childhood due to my impatience. Big fat Ursula. So yeah, this is practically a war of attrition, and yet we have never seen a enemy with that much health so far. Really tough boss. We gotta do is got hair in the face, and the entire time there's these giant electric Triton blasts. I guess I don't know a better word for it. That are surrounding the area, and Donald and Goofy are gonna have to do small amounts of damage before they die, because they most definitely will, because they suck at dodging. Those electric things. Oh yeah, crap. Okay. No, that's what. Oh, see, the only way you can like remember what she's doing is by her like word cues, and I always get them mixed up. Oh yeah, when she does that attack, you can try and get in, and do some quick attacks. It's actually gonna be kind of hard to fight this boss because you can't hear what she's saying. Whatever. You can cast. You can cast arrow in this fight. I usually don't until the later phases if I even need it. But yeah. Oh, crap, she wasn't going to do anything. See, I just see her mouth moving and think she's about to attack, because that's pretty much the only way she attacks, is by having cues. Man, she's so ugly. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, sometimes I like to take that hit, just so I can get more hits in. That eh, sounds really stupid, but whatever. I tend to do that. Hmm, all right, let's start curing. Oh, crap. She's... Oh, I thought she was shooting the laser. See, I can't see exactly the words she's saying, so I really can't probably do my best on this fight. And I tend to get hit by that just because I don't like the fact she has a lot of health. Yeah, she's not going to do anything this time, though, because she said insolent fools. Foo! All right. Now she's doing the, the hyper beam. That's just, that's exactly what it looks like, too. All right, let's try and mermaid kick really fast to her. <laughs> when she last is not about to do anything. She's so ugly. Gosh. Man. This boss fight, it sounds really weird, but this is really nostalgic for me. In a bad way, I guess, but whatever. Uh, yeah, bite me, I don't care. Alright. Yeah, you could... I guess I need to cure myself. Yeah, I definitely need to. Wow, we're getting to the point where a single cure can't bring us almost back to full health. That's rather odd. Wow, John, stop sucking, please. Stop sucking. Oh, yeah, and now she's going to start doing her attack. She spams... No, no. She's not. See, I don't even know what I'm talking about this boss fight. It's just like all word cues. If you, can, if you know what she's about to do, you can usually get out of the way and stuff. Man, I need more health. Should have probably got some items, you know, because I wasted all those items on that one boss fight. I did do it really quickly. Actually, this, this, that was just two seconds ago. What am I talking about? This is still that same episode. I need to hurry up and beat her. See, this is why I was trying to grind, because I remember this boss fight just take it so dang long. I didn't want to just last forever and stare this ugly face my whole LP. Yeah, keep biting me. I don't care. I don't care all day. Literally, because I keep hitting you and get more magic back. Alright, I guess we should try and avoid this one. And yeah! Crap, okay. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to take any more hits on this, even though I probably will. Okay. And you can, you can, I guess you can try and mermaid kick really quickly and get back there, but you're not going to have as much time as if, if, she, if you bite her. Crap, now she's doing that. That's the attack. Okay, that's the attack she spams the most, and it does the most damage. If you keep getting hit by it, I really suggest using Araga, or Arrow. Uh, she about to do it again. No, seriously, she'll spam that attack constantly. It's so annoying. That's a crap load of damage. And, like, she, you can still get hit by a Trident thing when that happens, so... Ugh, oh, it's, it's not a nice attack. It never made sense to me why bosses always save their last attacks when they're so low on health. You know, you'd probably just do that at the beginning to you know, wither them down. When you do that, when you use your best attack in hopes to kill them on the first hit, that's what I would do if I was a boss, but I'm not. Thankfully, yeah, someone managed to kill me probably because I'm lazy. Whatever. Oh gosh, okay, come on. We can beat her. We can beat her. Alright, it's like, oh crap. Okay, get get out, get out, get out. Oh my gosh, that was almost gonna kill me. Ugh. And yeah, you got that right. This won't be pretty because this episode's gonna last forever. 
have to stare your ugly face. Hands down, that's gonna be the thumbnail. The ugly face of ugliness. Yeah, this won't be pretty. Uh, okay. Let's just swoop in. See, it's kind of like a war of attrition, and you just gotta pay attention to the tells. Not get hit every other minute. Yeah. I don't know who her voice actor is, but they're very talented. I was always thought about going to voice acting school. I just suck at it, though. Because it's really a talent. I mean, I guess you can teach it, but I mean, some of it has to be talent, right? It'd be so repetitive. Ugh. Oh, see, she spams it like crazy. I mean, when you spam your best attack, I mean, I guess you know, if we're going, like, by Final Fantasy standards, bosses have MP. Okay, don't kill me. That would suck so bad. Okay, good. And yeah, might as well cure again. I don't think I have any, uh, mana curing things. Oh, crap. oh yeah, I do. I have neither. No, that's good, I guess. Looks like I have neither for everybody. Crap, why do, why, do I, why do I swim faster? I heard her say this won't be pretty. And then she did the attack. Was it me, or did she just have googly eyes for like two seconds? That's weird. Yeah, it sounds kind of bad, but when your partners die, it actually is a good thing. Because some of her tridents will be sacrificed by the uh, dead bodies, I guess. Crap, okay. Get out, get out, get out. She has like a... Like a I don't even know what's that small. Gosh, okay. I don't care. You, you, can, you can do whatever. I don't care. I'm going to beat the crap out of you, you stupid, ugly, fat hag. Ugh. You make Gruntilda look pretty. I'm not talking about the second form, either. Ugh. Or the form when she's pretty and you get a game where I'm not even talking about that right now. I'm getting... You're dead. <sighs> As you can imagine, I don't like that boss fight. At all. Yeah, drown underwater for somehow. I don't even care. Stupid boss. You call him my childhood. I'm going to go to the final world. Cause it's, oh, actually, I could go to the final world because I eventually beat it. But that's not the point. We have beat it. <laughs> we have beat Ursula. And yes. Are we going to get the Trident back or was it destroyed in battle? No, we're going to get it back naturally. No, I really have to pee. Why did I say that over to the internet? I don't know. And why am I sounding rehearsed? Because this is anything but rehearsed. This better not be the longest episode of the LP. Daddy, I'm so sorry. Please don't be angry with her. Oh. Wait, what? It's my fault. You followed Ursula because I wouldn't let you follow your heart. And then you found that crystal. I lost my temper and destroyed it. Oh, yeah, the crystal. Where did it? Why'd you destroy it? The crystal had the power to 